The formation of the Earth is related to the formation of the solar system. The gases that form the solar system gradually started shrinking. Increasingly more matter gathered in the center, while temperature was constantly increasing. The Sun formed from this condensed molecular cloud of dust. Due to rapid rotation, the rest of the cloud scattered and flattened into an orbiting protoplanetary disk around the Sun. The dust particles in the protoplanetary disk collided and stuck together due to electrostatic attraction, forming planetesimals. When they reached a size of about one kilometer, they collided due to mutual gravity, forming protoplanets, which were a few thousand kilometers in diameter. This is how the Earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago. Around 170 million years after the formation of the Earth, a similarly young planet, known as Theia, struck the Earth's still soft crust. Theia was demolished after the collision, and it merged with the Earth. The Earth's mass therefore increased, effectively reaching its current mass. The impact created a large ring of debris around the Earth, which later formed into the Moon. After the dissolution of the ring, the Moon became a glowing hot celestial body orbiting 25,000 kilometers above the Earth. During this period, the Moon still had volcanoes, lava flows, and its own magnetic field. The tidal phenomenon that occurs between the Earth and the Moon led to various changes. Firstly, the Moon became tidally locked with the Earth, meaning it takes the Moon just as long to rotate around its own axis as it does to revolve around the Earth. Secondly, the Moon gradually receded from the Earth, cooled down, and then became geologically inactive. Currently, the average distance of the Moon from the Earth is 384,000 kilometers. Even to this day, it is receding from the Earth, 3.8 centimeters a year. As a result, it takes the Moon increasingly more time to revolve around the Earth. However, due to tidal locking, the period it takes to rotate around its own axis is also increasing. The tidal phenomenon also affects the Earth. The Earth's rotation period is decreasing, meaning the length of the Earth's day is slowly increasing.